top five reasons people are moving to Roswell, Georgia. But first, let's give you a little bit of the need to know about Roswell. And of course, any resource that we talk about in this video will be linked in the description below. Roswell was originally in Cobb County, but in 1932, it was annexed into Fulton County. Roswell has evolved from Cherokee Nation, Textile Milltown, to current date historical suburb. That's pretty crazy and very interesting. One of the top five affluent zip codes in the greater Atlanta area is in the city of Roswell. There are a lot of successful professionals relocating from the expensive Atlanta areas to this one. In 2019, the estimated population in Roswell was right around 94,000 people, which is the eighth largest in the state of Georgia. And the average median age is actually 38, which is me. I am also 38. Where is Roswell located? It is up the 400 corridor in Fulton County, North Fulton County to be exact, in between Sandy Springs and Alpharetta. Roswell ranked number seven as of niche.com, best suburb of Atlanta in 2022. They gave it an A plus rating and they look at school systems, diversity, crime, dining. But today we're gonna give you the top five reasons we think you are gonna wanna move to Roswell, Georgia. Number one, Roswell has 640 acres of historical area. It is a truly walkable city. Kent Street is the main stretch where everything happens, full of unique boutique shops. It has a very vintage vibe. Dining in historic Roswell is always a fan favorite, and you got some local gyms like Bellows Cafe, Crazy Love Market, and Coffee House, The Fickle Pickle, Lola's Burger and Tequila Bar, and Gates City Brewing Company. This is definitely worth mentioning. It's not year-round, but through the months April to October, on the third Thursday of the month, you have the Alive in Roswell Festival. It has all kinds of fun local music, food trucks, kids games, local small businesses, and cool boutique spots to hang out with. You're not gonna wanna miss the Alive in Roswell. Number two, reasons why you wanna move to Roswell, parks. There are over 22 city parks over the greater Roswell area covering 918 acres. You're definitely gonna wanna go to Old Mill Park, which is called the Roswell Mill. It has a waterfall, the trails of Vickery, and it has the ruins of Roswell Manufacturing Company. The Chattahoochee Nature Center is a 127 acre lot that is right next to the Chattahoochee. It's a nonprofit organization that wants to connect people to nature. They also have some very guided educational hikes and hangouts so you can learn more about nature. Chattahoochee River Trail, which is a seven mile stretch, has places for playgrounds, awesome place to walk, beautiful views. It has a very centric rowing community. So if you like to row or you want to get into rowing, this is a great place to do that. We are actually doing a series on this channel about the Chattahoochee River National Recreational Areas. There are 17 of them. Hit the subscribe button. You're not gonna wanna miss an episode of that. We're gonna go a deep dive on each individual park. Number three, employment and job market. Right up at 400, we have a strong presence of Fortune 500 tech companies from fiber optic cables that are running straight from the city. The average salary in Roswell is $71,000. The unemployment rate is 2.6%. The US national average is 6%. And the future job growth in the market is 44%. And the US average is 30 three and a half percent. Major industries in Roswell include retail, tech, food services, wholesale trade, and healthcare. Roswell has a very great job opportunity and diverse area of places to work, but it's also a very close drive to the center of Atlanta, Georgia, being 22 miles away and right up and down 400. It's a great place to live, but you can still work in the city. Number four, great public schools. A plus overall across the school board. Some of the big headlining places like Milton High School, School, Desana Middle School, International Charter School of Atlanta, and the Denmark High School. Having these highly ranked public schools is amazing and a big draw for families that are trying to avoid private school tuition. Rounding out our top five housing, the median housing cost in Roswell is $540,000. It is a little bit on the higher side, but it's actually lower than Alpharetta and Sandy Springs. Let's talk cost of living. It's definitely higher than the national average in food food and transportation. They're on the lower side as it comes to healthcare and groceries. Roswell has a very unique housing scene, being from the newer built subdivisions all the way to the downtown walkable vibe that they have with the really cool historic architecture. That was our top five reasons to move to Roswell, Georgia. If this was helpful to you, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more episodes. If there was something we missed that you think we should add, hit us in the comments below. And until next time, peace.